Hey everyone, Joey here. I just wanted to give some reassurance for full AMD build users that are wondering if it's safe to delete the entire contents of the C drive AMD folder. Now, as you can see, I'm running a 5600X and a 6700XT. So I've got the latest uh, GPU drivers, 21.11.1, and the latest chipset drivers uh, from my motherboard support page because uh, MSI leaked some drivers a bit early this month. But anyway, if I go into my C drive, you can see that the AMD folder is gone. I've deleted it. Uh, it's not hidden or anything like that. If I go to view, I do have some old installer files I still need to clean up for Windows. But if I show hidden files, you know, there's no AMD file hidden here. It's gone. So I wanted to just give some reassurance because it is a bit hard to take some random guy's word for it when you're searching, you know, YouTube or Google for whether it's actually safe to delete these files and you're going to get a lot of people just saying yes it's fine to delete them but there are people with some trust issues that are kind of like they want some reassurance is, are you sure you know like how do, how do you prove it uh where where are the drivers actually if they suggested the installers where did the drivers actually go and i'm just going to explain that real quick so when you download a driver package it comes compressed that's to make the file smaller and easier to download and then when you run the installer, it extracts, which it means it decompresses all those files into a folder where it works from. And that folder is where the installer packages go. So that was the C drive AMD folder. So as you can see, mine's gone, so I can't actually show you it, but I can show you where those drivers actually went to give you that reassurance. So for your GPU driver, which is obviously your Radeon software and everything that went along with it, you can simply open Radeon software, right click it in the taskbar right click and go to properties and you can see there's actually a path c drive program files amd c next radeon software so that's where the the radeon software went uh it's not in the amd folder uh the c drive amd folder it's in program files amd so if i go there i can actually you know i can navigate to it and actually take a look at it uh and you can see we've got c next uh which is where the it goes in here. This is like where all the AMD stuff went. AMD link. Uh, you can just see it all in there. All driver files, etc. Radeon software. And then we can go into Ryzen Master as another example. And it also goes into the AMD folder. You can see Ryzen Master there. But if I open the software up and run it, obviously if, if I deleted it, it wouldn't run. Um, but I can also go here, right click properties and C drive. Program files, AMD, Ryzen Master, bin, a, a, you know, that's where it is. It's, it's also in the same program files directly, Ryzen Master, bin, directory, sorry. And you can see here, that's where it installed. So chipset and, uh, not chipset, uh, GPU driver and Ryzen Master are out of the way. You know where they are now. You can find them. So, you know, no worries to de uh, delete that. And then lastly, it's the chipset drivers, which some people are a bit hesitant about because those going into the AMD folder might be a bit new new for some people. So for the chipset drivers, I'll show you how to actually find out what version chipset drivers you're running and the general directory where they all go. They all go to the same place. So if I go to start and type device manager or dev, and it'll come up, device manager here, and I open this, you can see in device manager, under system devices, there's a bunch of these AMD titled uh drivers and these are your chipset drivers so sm bus pci etc a gpio and when you installed your chipset drivers it would have came up with like six i think it's around six different drivers that it wants to install and this is where they are in device manager and the actual directory they go to is in windows so c drive windows scroll down to system 32 or press s a few times until you find it system 32 and there is a drivers folder where all your drivers go for for your chipset and then scroll down a little bit you'll actually be able to find them if you look closely amd gpio2 this is one of the chipset drivers just so that you can know but they don't all follow the same driver version number so if you installed like chipset driver uh I, was it I'll, I'll bring it up real quick I've, i actually got mine from my msi website because they're slightly newer than the ones on amd uh MSI leaked some chipset drivers a little bit early. So Windows 11, these are my latest chipset drivers. They are, um, the driver version is 3.10.22.706, right? But this doesn't actually matter because all the individual drivers inside the package use different driver versions. 
So after you've installed your chipset drivers to know where they actually are and that they're matching with what's in your system 32 folder is you just go to whichever driver. So for example, GPIO is one of them. If I right click GPIO and go to properties and then driver, it'll actually tell me the proper version and the date, the driver date. So, you know, 6-9-2021 and driver version is 2.2.0.130. So one of these GPIOs should match up with 2.2.0.130. I'll just keep that open actually. And then if I go here, wait, I need to move it over so you guys can see. If I go here to the GPIO and go to right click properties, details, I can see here the GPIO controller driver 2.2.0.130 and the, and the date it was modified was the other day. That shouldn't matter too much. It's mainly just matching up the versions so that you know that they're in here and not in the AMD C drive AMD folder where the installers are. So another one we could do is PCIe, uh, AMD PCIe dev, right click properties and details. It's got 1.0.0.83. So if I look in here in device manager, there's a PCIe one, right click properties, driver, and it's also 1.0.0.83, also matching. So just so you guys like have that reassurance, like I'm, I'm showing you exactly where they are in C drive Windows System32 drivers. So you've got no worries. You can delete your C drive AMD folder. It's just installers. Um, the only reason you'd want to keep some of them is if you want the most recent version and the date that you, you know, they have the driver dates, the folder dates. If you ever need to reinstall them, if, if the folders are just there in your C drive AMD folder, you can literally run the EXE files from those folders and quickly reinstall your drivers without having to re-download the entire package if you deleted the package. So yeah, um, just giving that clarification for those of you with trust issues that just you know wanted a bit more of a technical explanation. So thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video. Bye.